that. Someone's been making guacamole. <clears throat> Anyhow, so this morning I saw a thing, if you're on Facebook, friend it to me, you may have seen it, about spiral slicing hot dogs before you cook them. So, I've done some. I'm going to see how they come out. Hmm. The latest experience. So, anyhow, that was Jeff. Hello, Jeff. Thank you. So, anyhow. I can't wait to see how they turn out. Uh-huh. It's supposed to be good. So anyhow, Mark was saying something as I pressed the stop button. Go ahead, Mark. You say it again. I said, and he does do work in the kitchen, and these hot dogs are evidence of that. Yep. So we got the hot dogs. We got some ground beef that we ground ourselves because it's better that way. Mark's guacamole. Somewhere around he's got coleslaw. The spiral sliced hot dogs. Dodger on standby to help. Right, Dodge? Dodger's always ready to help. And off we go. So it's like 8,000 degrees out here. So we're grilling. <laughs> so, oh, so that's the, nice and natural, hot and smoky. And I cleaned it before we started. Anyhow, here's Jeff. Would be to grill. Yeah, well, can these go here? Or yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. Nice. Dodgy, okay? Dodgy's having a little breathing issue. All right, sir. I got to keep my hands clean for doing this. So I must ask you to toss them on, please. You don't have to do that. Just, just. Just toss them on. Yeah. Just toss. Throw them on the grill. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. And you just dump those, the spiral dogs, wherever. Alrighty, I'll get to the top. Yep, fine. Mm. Thank you. Clean place. Dodgy, you have anything you'd like to say? No. He's a man of few words. Well, it is a lovely day out here in the yard. It's just a little hot. That looks nice. Anyhow, that is the Quonset Cherry back there. It has got nice and big. Gotten nice and big. It is big. Uh, since we planted it, that was in my mom's memory and was a gift. And then back, if we can see it, yep, back there. See a little tag hanging there. That was from Pua and the rest of the Huffine clan. In memory of Bernice, and they're getting another tag that will hang by it, so it'll be a memory of Mandy also. And we're going to add a little of her ashes to the ground there. Bernice is already in there, so they're part of the tree. It's bittersweet, certainly, but they live on. Oh, and there are Mark's tomatoes. It's the tomato patch for this year. And, uh, and that's it for now. I planted this crab apple when I was a little boy, and uh, I don't think I could move it now. It was a lot smaller then. Okay, so, and this is just, we're protecting the grass from someone using it for things that don't help grass grow. Let it start growing again, and then we'll take the fencing away. Anyhow. So, now we can check on everything. And Jeff and Mark are here to help. Yeah, that one's pretty big. Oh. That one is the biggest one. So, uh, they're separating nicely. Looking good. Anyhow, time for these. I am not a lefty. Alright, stopping video to do this. So this is kind of in the other direction. And this is Mark's collection of herbs that he grows to use in various things he makes around here. And from the winter side of things, there's our wood pile back there. And the back of the garage. Isn't spins. that exciting? Okay, another visit to things here. Those are looking pretty good. Alright, let's see if I can hold the camera left handed. I'll do the rest of my work here. Oh, 
Oh well, we have a casualty. Broken half. Tastes the same. <sighs> That's fresh ground beef we do. Actually, Mark did it. And there they are checking out the Huffine tree in memory of our girls. And here we have it, the finished product. Aren't those cute? And off they go. Fun idea. Yeah. And now I can shut the grill. And that's it.